Dib is a very special place in that it's, uh, it's on this beautiful coastline on the tip of the Indian Ocean, it's the Gulf of Oman. So we're very lucky in that we've got this wonderful, productive, pristine stretch of water with no, no rivers coming into it, no industry, low habitation. So it's just the perfect place to grow oysters. Our farm is based offshore, but we're in relatively shallow water, but we're very close to very deep water. So we get the added benefit of it's relatively easy to look after the oysters in the shallow water, but we've got the upwelling of all the nutrients from the deep water. We're using a, a long line system, so it's, it's suspended horizontal lines a few meters below the surface, and we will hang lantern baskets along each line. We have around 50 lines, so we've got 5,000 lanterns hanging in the water with 14 million oyster stock. In the past year, we've increased our production dramatically. Uh, we've gone from 20,000 oysters a month up to 200,000 oysters a month. And we're actually expanding to double our capacity by the end of the year, and then we're looking to double again in the following year. Oysters, when they build their shell, they're actually sequestering carbon. So they're actually natural carbon sinks. Oyster farming is removing carbon from the environment. So it's a, it's a really wonderful form of farming for the environment. Dibbit oysters are very distinct in that they have this bright white luminous shell with flecks of gold. We have lovely high levels of calcite in the water due to the limestone cliffs. And so they suck up that calcite and that's what builds their brilliant white shell. We can actually harvest in the morning and be in Dubai airport by lunchtime and be in any major capital globally by the same day. So we're in a very unique situation where we've got the best of both worlds of the pristine environment across in Fujairah, but then the advanced infrastructure of the UAE, which allows us to service the world. So for those of us living in the UAE, for, for locals and residents, um, I would hope they feel some pride when they see this fantastic gourmet product, which is standing toe to toe, if not beating anything that's being imported from anywhere in the world. We're now essentially one of the only genuinely farm-to-table outlets in the UAE, where customers can come and buy a product directly from the people that have grown it. So I would say we are still very much on the journey, but ultimately we want to be a global brand. We're very, very focused on introducing Dibbe Bay oysters to the world.